chatting with Cliff Floyd, former Montreal Expos player, uh, currently a pre- and post-game analyst for Fox Sports Florida for Marlins Live. Uh, Cliff, I want to also ask you about your appearance in the ESPN 30 for 30 documentary, Broke. Uh, how did that all come about? Um, I got a call from producers over the ESPN and wanted to talk about some financial literacy, and I thought that it would be a good idea to start teaching these kids the importance of, of, uh, of their money and to make sure that you didn't do, you know, you, you stop doing these investments that you have no no idea about. That's the one thing that is is taking is you know uh, all the money away from 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 from, from everybody. Now you know I won't say everybody, but some guys that's having financial problems. And I was like, sure, because I had a financial you know uh, issue with my with, with, with my ex uh, guys, you know my financial guys, and. Um, I wanted to help as much as I could. And the one thing that I thought was important was to stop listening to these dudes sell you dreams. And dreams meaning I'm going to get, I'm going I'm going to build this amazing casino that we all going to put in 2 million dollars and in in 2 years we want to have 15 million dollars in the bank. And I go to myself, okay, we all know that's a lie, but how do you, how do you stop these guys from 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 you know from from getting to you? And the, and when we did it on thirty for thirty, I thought I could at least sell without what 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 happened you know when I was playing the partying the 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 women coming with the with the tight outfits on selling you you know great outfits that you 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 can't wear to this day. The investments, the car wash deals, the grocery store deals, the hair salon deals. Now, it was everything under the sun. And when you when you see 30 for 30, you go, oh, my gosh, Cliff made $50 million and he's broke. It's far from the truth. So I had to go back to ESPN and go, wait a minute. We did this two years ago. It was not supposed to be anything about Cliff Floyd being broke or the other guys being broke. I, it wasn't about anybody being broke. So you shouldn't have saw anything about Bernie Kosar. You shouldn't have saw anything about curse feeling. That's what that wasn't what the show was pertaining that was supposed to be. Yeah, the, I, I've seen the documentary, to, you know, and you're right; they didn't really dis, you know differentiate between who had the monetary problems and who's there to sort exactly. of talk about you know the the experiences. It was supposed to be financial literacy. It's supposed to be me me telling you or our audience what you're supposed to get from this is if Bernie Madoff can get guys that actually know about money. Then how the hell are you supposed to not be able to get guys who who got high school education and don't know nothing about money? So so that was supposed to be the separate. You were supposed to understand that. Yeah, we get called on every day. Yeah, our phone rings and you have no clue who it is. Yeah, you're supposed to be nice on Facebook and friend everybody and 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 be cool with everybody on Twitter. But you can't be, and and you know and 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 never be shame on you that you don't do it. You have to. It's, it's shame on the on, on society. And what society has brought on for us to see that you can't trust anybody. And you, you, you know, I mean, and listen, you have to trust somebody at some point, but if you put too much trust out there, you're going to get burned. 100% guaranteed. Cliff, wanted to ask you about the off season, of course, for the Florida Marlins. What a, you know, very, very hectic. Obviously, the uh, first. Uh, uh, press conference for Jeffrey Loria arriving in uh, Jupiter, Florida, basically ambushed by by the media with a lot of uh, pointed questions. Your thoughts on the trade with Toronto and, and what's left now with, uh, with the Marlins? Well, first off, I think that if you look at last year's season, they lost, you know, 93 games. I, I don't, from an from ownership standpoint, Matt, I, I really don't understand how you move forward with a team that lost that much when you spent the money you spent. You spent over $100 million to actually make your team better. But is it? Whether they were the first guys you wanted, or it doesn't matter. You you spent the money. I don't feel the guys that they brought in last year. Nothing against Mark Burley and nothing against Jose Reyes or he fell. You need more for this team to succeed. Now, I know what you was going for when you look at this team and go, well, you have a new stadium, new uniform, new manager. I, I, I understand that. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not dumb. What I, what I wanted was this team to – have the guys that they already had step up, the Anibal Sanchez, the Ricky Nelasco's, you know, the Hanley Ramirez's. Those guys need to step up for for the for what they did in the off season to be a success. When it didn't happen, you sort of have to understand the ownership situation. If the Boston Red Sox can make the deal that they made to get rid of their players, then I'm going to follow suit and go, hey, 
let me dismantle this thing because from a business side, I'm throwing good money at bad money. doesn't make sense. I, I don't feel this team is going to win with the, with the players that they let go, let, let go to Toronto. I really didn't feel that they was going to make that big a difference. If they won 10, 20 more games more, you're still only talking about 79 games, 80, 80 games tops. So I felt like if you can get, if you can sort of replenish your system, get these guys that they got, the Hatcher Berea from Toronto, you know, the Rob Brantley, the Nathan Navaldi from the Dodgers, uh, the, the Jacob Turners to develop from Detroit, you're starting to put yourself in a position that, hey, you know, you have to start somewhere to, 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 to get some growth. I feel that the Mars are in the right direction again. They're going to go through it, of course. They're going to struggle, but I think they'll at least have the money to go out and, and then get, you know, hit the fridge and market next year once these guys develop, and they'll be ready to contend. I, I, you know, I don't believe in these teams that go out there and believe every year that they're going to contend and they're not spending money. You have to spend money. And until you spend money and get guys that go along with the guys you develop, you're not going to win. So I, I sort of think the Marlins did the right thing getting rid of those guys. I really do for the future. It's going to be a tough period this year. He is Cliff Floyd. You can follow him on Twitter.com slash Sleepy30. Uh, Cliff, thanks so much, and uh, have, a, have a good season with the Marlins. Appreciate your time tonight. No doubt. Thanks for having me, buddy. All right, there you go. That's Cliff Floyd, former Montreal Expos. Great.